Hello friends. Today we will be starting with next module that is module 4. It is on strain energy. It is energy methods. Basically, how do you define energy? In simple terms, energy is capacity to do work. Energy is capacity to do work. Now question comes, how do you define work? What is work? Whenever you apply some force on a body, say there is a ball and on this ball you apply some force, the ball changes its position and comes here. This is work. So work is nothing but product or multiplication of force applied and distance travelled. So work is product of force applied and distance traveled in a structural system external work done by the load is stored in the form of internal work and that is called as strain let us take an example suppose I am having a frame system like this and suppose this frame has some load on it and you apply the loads it bends like this so this is the external load and this is the strain produced whenever you remove this external load this come back to its original position hence the external load or external work is stored in the form of strain energy when external load acts on a system the structure undergoes deformation deformation means changes hence work is done by the external load on the system now what this internal system does is it tries to resist it whenever you remove the external load it comes back to its original position hence to resist external load body develops internal forces and as per newton's law external work should be equal and opposite to the internal forces developed when external force acts on a system the structure undergoes deformations deformation means change in shape and size to resist external loads internal forces are developed and at equilibrium work done by external force is equal to internal strain energy stored work done by external load is equal to internal strain energy strain is nothing but change in length or change in cross section now there are different methods available first method is strain energy method in energy methods there are different methods first is strain energy it is also called as real work second method is virtual work 
और यूनिट लोड मेथड थर्ड मेथड इज कैस्टिगलियानोज मेथड देर इज ए थेरम डेवलप्ड बाई कैस्टिगलियानो एंस इट इज नेम्ड आफ्टर हिम नाउ वी विल बी स्टडिंग वील स्टार्टिंग और स्टडीज विथ स्ट्रेन एनर्जी और रियल वर्क मेथड नाउ वर्क डन बाय द लोड वर्क डन by the load or external load it is given by half p into delta let that be equation 1 where p is applied load whatever external loads you are applying delta is deflection change in position or deflection now strain energy stored by system it is given by the equation integration of 0 to l m square by 2 ei dx where m is bending moment at the required section e is young's modulus that is material property r is moment of inertia moment of inertia is geometrical property of the section now for equilibrium work done by load is equal to strain energy stored so work done by load is half p delta and that is equal to strain energy that is integration of 0 to l m square by 2 ei dx let us start with a simple numerical standard example using strain energy method determine deflection that is delta at free end of the cantilever beam of length l subjected to concentrated load p at the free end so first let me draw the diagram let this be cantilever beam ab p is the concentrated load let the length be small l now let us start with the solution solution let bending moment at distance x from free end is equal to so i will try to find out bending moment at any section x at distance x from free end i am going from free end towards fixed end i am taking a section here now forget this part of the beam consider only this much bending moment developed at this section is load into perpendicular distance is equal to m is equal to p into x let this be equation 1 now strain energy stored is equal to integration of 0 to l m square by 2 ei dx substitute the values is equal to integration integration length is 0 to l whole length integration of 0 to l m square m is p into x whole bracket square divided by 2 ei dx so simplifying it p square x square by 2 ei dx in this term p square 2 ei are constant x square is variable so i will take that outside p square by 2 ei integration of x square dx 0 to l and that is given by p square by 2 ei x cube by 3 0 to l now 
strain energy substitute x is equal to l x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 does not come into picture only substitute x is equal to l so strain energy will get p square l cube by 6 e i let this be equation 2 now work done by the load is equal to half p delta let this be equation 2 where delta is deflection at free end equating 2 and 3 we have p square l cube by 6 ei is equal to half p delta i need to find delta so delta is equal to p l cube by 3 ei this is the standard derivative similarly let us try to take a problem on simply supported beams numerical to calculate deflection below the point load this is the beam given a b c a c is 4 meters c b is 4 meters point load 60 kilonewtons at point c e i values for a c it is 2 i only a i and for b c it is 2 e i let me draw a line diagram for this solution this is the line diagram point load for this you need to calculate reactions let this be r a r b now i'll calculate reactions summation of moments about a is equal to 0 about a r a into 8 minus 60 into 4 is equal to 0 minus r b into 8 plus 60 into 4 is equal to 0 or rb is equal to 30 kilonewtons so similarly summation of moments about b is equal to 0 and i write b is equal to 0 ra into 8 minus 60 into 4 is equal to 0 i get ra is equal to 30 kilonewtons substitute write those values here now I need to find deflection at point C. What is the deflection produced below the point load? Point C. So, for this, let me take two sections like this one section from A till point C, another section from point B till point C. Let that distance be unknown distance x. Now, bending moment at any distance x, it is given by m is equal to. 30 into x bending moment at this section forget this part of the beam that is given by 30 into x for section ac then 30 into x for section bc now strain energy is given by integration of 0 to l m square by 2 ei dx this is the generalized strain energy equation now, here in this beam, there are two parts, AC and BC. So, what I will do is, I will find strain energy for AC and BC, add them together. So, strain energy is equal to, first let me write for AC. So, limits are 0 to 4, distances 0 to 4, m square. m is 30x, bracket square divided by 2ei dx plus integration for cb this version here ei value this is ei this is 2 ei instead of ei you have to write 2 ei so here limits are 0 to 4 that is the length m is 30x bracket square ei ei is 2 ei 2 into 2 ei dx now simplify them 900 x square by 
टू ई आई डी एक्स प्लस जीरो टू फोर नाइन हंड्रेड एक्स स्क्वेयर बाय फोर ई आई डी एक्स टेक दिस टर्म्स आउटसाइड फोर फिफ्टी बाय ई आई इंडिकेशन ऑफ जीरो टू फोर एक्स स्क्वेयर डी एक्स नाइन हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई टू फोर फिफ्टी तो सिमिलरली हियर प्लस नाइन हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई फोर टू ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई ई आई जीरो टू फोर एक्स स्क्वेयर डी एक्स तो सिंप्लीफाइंग द टर्म्स फोर फिफ्टी बाई ई आई एक्स क्यूब बाई थ्री जीरो टू फोर प्लस टू ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई ई आई एक्स क्यूब बाय थ्री जीरो टू फोर सो सब्सिट्यूटिंग दैम फोर फिफ्टी बाय ई आई एक्स इजल टू फोर फोर क्यूब इज सिक्सटी फोर बाय थ्री प्लस टू ट्वेंटी फाइव बाय ई आई सिक्सटी फोर बाय थ्री सो आई गेट द वैल्यू ट्रेन एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू वन डबल फोर डबल जीरो बाय ई आई लेट दिस बी क्वेश्चन वन Now work done is equal to half P into delta, where P is externally applied load. External load applied load is sixty into delta. So work done is thirty into delta. Equation two, equating work done to externally applied load, we have. थर्टी डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू वन डबल फोर डबल जीरो बाई ई आई और डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू फोर एटी बाय ई आई दिस इज द डिफ्लेक्शन बिलो द पॉइंट लॉ नेक्स्ट विल कंटिन्यू विथ समोर न्यूमरिकल्स थैंक यू